Hello, welcome to CWA Port B Practical Book of Specification Lecture 15. Today, I'm going to give a lecture about Chapter 5. The last lecture, we stopped at Table 7. And today, we're going to start at the Table 7 note. Note number A. When the group is filled using combination of wording processes, number one, the test word one thickness T, the capital T is applicable for base matter. Base matter and should be determined from base matter thickness qualified column, which means base matter thickness qualified column is here. And number two, thickness the lowercase t of word matter for each wording process shall be determined from the deposit word matter thickness column and this means here deposit word matters thickness qualified lowercase t and number three each wording process qualified in this combination manner may be used separately only within the same qualification variables and thickness limits. Separately process. So if you use GTA, GTAW and SMAW, the qualification thickness, thickness qualification shall be applied separately. So for example, we have a group word here. And you word it with GTAW root pass and second pass. This is about GTAW and this is five millimeter. And the next third pass to the final pass, third, fourth, whips. 6, 7, and final pass, 8, 9, and this is SMAW, and thickness of SMAW is 15 millimeter. Then this 5 millimeter should be applied separately here, 2 to 10. This so qualification of base metal thickness is 2 to 2t is 10 millimeter, and for SMAW process, the thickness is 15 millimeter. So this line 10 to 19. So base matter qualification is minimum 5 to 2t, which is 30 millimeter. So like this, separate um, qualification should be separately upright. B for GMAA, GMAW S, the maximum thickness of base metal qualified is 1.1 times the thickness of test wordment until the test wordment thickness is 13 mm beyond which table 7 applies. For GMAWS, S means short circuiting transport mode, and GMAWS is uh, you're not able to figure out what this GMAWS. So this kind of condition GMAWS is given in the actual CWA Part B questions. So you don't have to worry about what this GMAWS. Just you see uh, this GMAWS in this question given question. So when you see this GMAWS, the maximum thickness of base metal qualified is 1.1 times the thickness of test wordment until the test wordment thickness 13 millimeter. After 13 millimeter, table 7 applies. So what it means is here, we have group word like this, and base metal thickness is, uh, let's say, 13 millimeter. And word matter thickness 
here is 10 millimeter and this is worded by GMAWS then maximum base metal qualified base metal thickness qualified is since this is 13 millimeter not this one not this 2t but rather than 2t you apply 1.1 times of thickness of the test world month which means this small t so 10 times 1.1 is 11 millimeter this is maximum thickness and after this 13 millimeter you just apply this taper 7 The maximum word matter thickness qualified is 1.1 times the GMAWS word matter thickness deposited in the word demand. In addition, for thickness 10 mm thick and greater, sideband test shall be used for used to qualify GMAWS WPSs. Number C. For fracture toughness application minimum, base metal thickness qualified is T or 16 millimeter, whichever is less. So you you choice you select the smaller between T and 16 millimeter for what fracture toughness application. Minimum base metal thickness qualified. So let's say we have a Group weld like this. This base metal thickness is 25 millimeter, and this is let's say this is 20 millimeter. This is T, and this is capital T, small T, and large T. Then, when fracture, fracture toughness. Fracture toughness test is required, and this is given in the question. Then, minimum qualified base metal thickness is this is 25, so 25 is in this line 5, but not 5, but rather than 5. When the fracture toughness test is required, the minimum base metal thickness is T or 16 millimeter and you select a smaller one and this large T is 25 millimeter so 25 millimeter is bigger than 16 millimeter so you take this 16 millimeter when fracture toughness is required D if any single pass in the test word month base metal is greater in thickness than 13 millimeter, the qualified base metal thickness is 1.1 times the test word month thickness. Single pass, the test word month base metal is greater than 13 millimeter. What it means is here. We have a group word. And first pass, root pass, and second pass, third pass, fourth pass, and this is pass number one, two, three, four, five. And thickness of this single pass is greater than 13 millimeter. So let's say this is 15 millimeter. Then thickness, base metal thickness qualified is 
just 1.1 times the large t. So let's say this is 20. No, let's say it's just 10 millimeter. Then thickness qualification is 2 to 10. So 2 millimeter to 20 millimeter. But when this single pass is greater than 30 millimeter, the thickness qualification is 10 times 1.1, which is 11 millimeter. Okay. This was D and E. Before we go to E, I'm going to open up the file to show this upper and lower transformation temperature. Hold on a second, please. Okay, back to D. D. Uh, we discussed about D, so go to E. If a test word went to receive the post word heat treatment exceeding the lower transformation temperature, the maximum base metal thickness qualified is 1.1 times the base metal thickness of test word went. And the maximum word thickness qualified is 1.1 times the word matter of the test word went. So what it means is here. Test word went received post word heat treatment which means PWHT. After welding, the heat treatment is applied, then but exceeding lower transformation temperature. And we're talking about uh, carbon steel and low alloy steels, something like that, and ferritic steels. And this lower transformation temperature is here. This is carbon and iron, iron, carbon, equilibrium, phase diagram, and this line here, here red line, this is lower transformation temperature, which is 723, 723 degrees Celsius, this is lower transformation temperature, so PWHT, PWHT over this lower transformation temperature the maximum base metal thickness qualified is 1.1 times so we say we have a group word and this is T and this is small t and in here the maximum base metal thickness qualified is 1.1 times base method thickness of the test word one so this t the lower uh capital t uh, let's say this is 10 millimeter then this second line is applied so 2 millimeter to 20 millimeter but the maximum qualified is 10 times 1.1 is 11 11 millimeter so maximum qualified is of the base matter is 11 millimeter. This was DE and maximum word thickness qualified is 1.1 times the word matter of the test word mod. Same thing applies. The small t times 1.1 times. F for base matter equal to or less than 10 millimeter, fillet words have the same base matter thickness qualification as group words. Base matter, base matter is less than equal to less than 10 millimeter. Fillet words have the same base matter thickness. So if this is nine or 10 millimeter, then fillet word is also qualified by this group word base method thickness qualification and this qualification can qualify this filler word
or base metal thickness greater than 10 mm, maximum base metal thickness qualified for fillet metal is unlimited. So, if this thickness is 12 mm, then this group word thickness qualification can qualify this fillet word thickness qualification, but this is unlimited. D, G, deposit word metal thickness limitation do not apply to fill up word or word build up. So deposit word metal thickness. So deposit word metal thickness is not applied to fill up word or word build up. Word build up is something like buttering or overlay. And this T, large T is base metal thickness, this T, and small T, lowercase T, is this word metal thickness. Okay, this was table 7, and note A through G. I'm gonna stop here today, and next lecture will start from this 5.2.3 here thank you for listening my lecture and i will see you next time